Now, the earthquake spooked plenty of people in Korea last night. A 5.1 and a subsequent 5.8 magnitude quake, which, as uh, we told you, was the strongest ever recorded in Korea, hit just outside the southeastern city of Gyeongju, but was felt across much of the country, including right here in Seoul. The authorities say seismic activities connected to the quakes are now over, but mild aftershocks may continue for a while. Oh Jung-hee reports. While concerns remain about a repeat of the earthquake that struck near Gyeongju on Monday evening, the Korean Meteorological Administration says significant seismic activity linked to the powerful tremor is now over. Meeting with lawmakers for an emergency meeting on Tuesday, the head of the agency, Ko yun hwa said it's unlikely a stronger earthquake will hit Korea anytime soon. He said the aftershocks, of which there have been over 200 so far, have all been under a magnitude of 3.0 and are becoming weaker. However, tremors may continue for three to four more days. With concerns lingering, the Korean National Park Service has ordered its regional offices to close off public access to national parks until further notice. Officials will check for possible damage to facilities and trails before making a decision on reopening them. It's been reported that tremors were felt around Chuangsan Mountain and Kayasan Mountain, but there was no serious damage. The two earthquakes that hit the Gyeongju area on Monday evening struck around 50 minutes apart. The initial earthquake recorded a magnitude of 5.1, with the subsequent quake coming in at magnitude 5.8. No one was killed, but 21 people were injured as buildings rocked from side to side and objects fell off shelves. Over 300 cases of property damage were reported in Gyeongsangbuk-do province alone. Nuclear reactors in the area were not seriously affected, but some reactors were taken offline as a precautionary measure late Monday night. A few KTX bullet trains halted operations, and Korea's popular mobile messenger Kakao Talk went offline shortly after the quake, but both are now running as normal. Government authorities have heightened the country's emergency level to level two, which is the second highest, and ordered affiliated organizations to remain alert. Although another strong earthquake isn't expected to strike again soon, the meteorological agency says there's the potential for a magnitude 6.5 quake in the future. In case of an earthquake, Korea's public safety ministry recommends citizens crawl under tables to protect themselves from falling objects. Citizens are also advised to evacuate to open places like parks and avoid using elevators on their way. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.